please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for 30 seconds of silence. Grizzlies. This is Kobe. I'm Nick. And I'm Kenna with your Grizzly News Network. Today is Wednesday, April 3rd, 2019. Grizzlies, we have a special guest joining us today, Nick Gizmondi. Nick is the TV host for the Golden Knights on AT&T Sportsnet, and he also coaches for the Colorado Thunderbirds on the hockey team, and he's been on radio and television for 22 years, working with the likes of Fox Sports, Universal Sports Network, and the Olympic Channel. And now he's on AT&T Sports Network. Thank you for joining us today, Nick. Hi, you guys. It's great. Thank you guys for having me. So what do you do with the Golden Knights? So I get to host the pregame, the postgame, and the intermissions on AT&T Sportsnet. And basically that means I'm your guy before the game for about a half an hour and your guy after the game for half an hour and then during the intermissions. And it's, for me, it's just about breaking down the game, kind of telling you guys what's what. And uh, I, I got the best seat in the house. So uh, between myself and my broadcast partner, Brad May, uh, we're basically the ones helping analyze the game for you. And what steps did you take to get in this position? It's been a long time. It took about uh, 23 years to get to this level, at least with the Vegas Golden Knights. But I spent the last 12 years with NBC Sports. And truthfully, it's just about a lot of hard work and knowing the game of hockey really well. But being here with Vegas, uh, it's, uh, it's been a blast. So, Nick, what's the best part about your job? Best part about my job is the front row seat I get to probably the greatest sports team out there right now. So to be able to watch the games and to be a part of the nights, it's it's a lot of fun. This community uh, and the fan base is it's unbelievable. So getting to experience that and getting to see everybody's excitement and how much they love it and watching the energy that's in that arena every night and how well this team is playing, it's a lot of fun for me. Yeah. All right, thank you, Nick, and go Knights go. Go Knights go. Come check out our dance department as they perform in their spring concert. The show will be tomorrow and Friday at 6.30 in the theater. Tickets are $5, and I hope you're there. Grizzlies, the Environmental Club and the swim team have united to save the oceans. Here's more information. Want to purchase this bracelet? Here's more information. Hi, my name is Saggy Kabata, and I'm a junior. I've been a part of the swim team for three years now, and this year we are holding a fundraiser partnered with the Environmental Club for an organization called Four Ocean. Four Ocean is an organization that picks up trash from our, our oceans and cleans up our ecosystem. And you can support this fundraiser by getting a bracelet. This bracelet is made entirely out of recycled materials and it's $20. And one bracelet equals one pound of trash cleaned up in the ocean. To purchase this bracelet, you have to fill out an order form, which you can get from any swim team member, any environmental club member, and Miss Bonanno. For more information, I would stop by uh, Miss Bonanno's room, my room, 923. You can stop by Miss Ree's room in Graphic Arts, see any environmental club or swim team member, or go to 4ocean.com. Um, and they're $20, a little expensive, but um, it's worth it. They go out on boats with a bunch of people, and they clean up the trash in the ocean. Sport your, your key club and buy boba during lunch for $5. Grizzlies, have you bought your yearbook yet? Hey Grizzlies, yearbook students have been taking pictures of classes, at assemblies, and during sports. Kayla York, Francine Castro, and Angel Ortega Melton. You're all on pages 26 and 27. 
Go miss out on your chance to get your book for only $90. Order yours today at Jocelyn.com or at the banker before the price goes up again. Now here's Nick with our sports news. All right, I get to do the sports today, right? I love it. All right, thanks, Colby. Cheer tryouts are tomorrow, April 4th from 5 to 6.30 and Friday, April 5th from 5 to 6.30. So please make sure you have the following completed before the first day of tryouts. You're going to need your signed cheer tryout packet, your physical packet, and third quarter grade showing a 2.0 or higher. You will not be able to try out without all of these required documents. So please see Mrs. Hemberger in room 211 if you have any questions. All right, here's some of your Grizzly upcoming sporting events. Track and field has a meet today at Spring Valley. That starts at 3.30. Also today, volleyball has a game at Coronado starting at 5 p.m. And tomorrow, baseball and softball play against Secta at 3.30. Make sure you come out and support your Grizzly athletes, guys. Thanks, Mr. Gizmondi. <laughs> Seniors, do you like Cafe Rio? Do you plan on having a graduation party? How would you like to win a catered graduation party for up to 50 people from Cafe Rio? Only one lucky winner will be allowed announced at the assembly May 3rd, so get your entry in before April 12th. Good luck. Attention seniors, did you miss our last FASFA workshop? We have two upcoming dates where you can come to room 315 during lunch and get help. We will have financial aid experts to come assist you with your FASFA today, April 4th and April 11th. Now here's Ralph with the weather. Thank you, Kenna. Now today, nice into a weekend with today being a high of 77, low of 56, and mostly sunny skies. Going into tomorrow, just one degree difference over the high with a high of 78 and a low of 54, dropping two degrees for that low as well on Thursday. And going into the day after that, Friday, the very end of our week, high of 77, low of 57. Also for today, the winds are going to be facing the northeast at 8 miles per hour, and then tomorrow they're going to be facing the north at 10 miles per hour. Also, it's going to be mostly sunny for today, partly cloudy for tomorrow, and mostly sunny to end off our week on Friday. Now, over the weekend, it's going to get very windy. The winds are going to pick up to about 20 miles per hour, but with that wind also comes sun. Sunny weekend for the most part, with those winds also picking up, just reminding you of that. And it's going to be overall a pretty good weekend, a pretty good end to our weekend with really no precipitation whatsoever. This is Ralph with your weather. Now back to you, Kenna. Thank you, Ralph. And thank you, Nick, for being here with us. This is Kenna. I'm Nick. And Kobe of the Grizzly News Network. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, Wednesday Grizzlies. Grizzlies.